Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing a very German gun, the Luger P08. I think this came out very well. Uh, of course it was, this is uh, used in German war times, which haven't been the prettiest of times in history. But I figured I'd make this gun because it's a very beautiful looking gun. And it's small, it's a bit of a challenge, and mine isn't the best, but I tried my best on it. So, let's look into this thing. First, um, let's start with the grip. Wooden, of course. I tried my best to get this shape. This shape's very hard to get. Especially with this, um, curved trigger guard here, which I think looks very nice. And down there would be the magazine, which I don't have a magazine for this. This is just for looks. Yeah, sorry about that. Because, um, this thing, it has a very thin grip, the real version. So, I can't exactly make a magazine without making a widened grip. And I could not do that in brown, because I could barely do this in brown, so making a widened grip would be impossible. So hey, this is the best you're going to get from me. No trigger, of course, as usual, but it's very comfortable to hold. As you can see here, very comfortable. We have the boxy shape up here, well, sort of boxy. We have the barrel up there, and the iron sights, which are... They're okay. Um, you can't really see well through them, but... They're a thing, I guess. We have the round barrel, which I think is, it looks decent. We have these things on the side here. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but they're there. And, oh boy. Yeah, so this is how I made the uh, trigger guard. So it's very flimsy. I just knocked it off just now, so let me just put that back there. Eh. There we go. So, yes, as you can notice, this does move up. And it is spring-loaded, as you can see. So I can lift it up, take out the mag, put in a new one, push that down, ready to fire. Fired a few times, I guess. Now, um, to show you the mechanism, it isn't that complex, but it was a little bit tricky to make. We just need to take off these side plates here, which are... Hold on, one sec, give me a moment. Again, having to put my camera down, sorry. Because these things... Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that off, but you can sort of see there um, how the mechanism works. It attaches down there to a little Technic holder, and I use um, these pieces here to cover it up, although I did run out of them, so I just had to end up using a normal piece over here. So, a bit OCD triggering, sorry about that, but, mm. but as you can see, there's a spring there, so it will shoot up, which makes it a lot, a lot of fun to use, because... Say I'm pretending to shoot this gun, I can be pretending to shoot it, of course, and I could say I run out of ammo, I could push that up, I could actually act like it's a real gun, and it will stay down, just locks into place here, and you just push it up. It's easy to push on this round thing with your thumb, very comfortable, surprisingly <laughs> comfortable in my guns in the same sentence, I know, crazy. Now, this isn't the only uh, World War II weapon I will be doing uh, soon, because I do have another very interesting gun to show you that um, unfortunately doesn't have decent coloring, but it's coming up soon after this video. It'll probably be up by the time you guys see this. But yeah, Luger P08, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time when I showcase some more LEGO stuff. Peace.